Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today we are going to learn a new Spanish word. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Also visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons. And if you're interested in supporting this channel, just check out the memberships appearing here. You only need to click on the join button down below to get a membership and um, just take a look at them. Okay, let's get started. It. So the Spanish word of the day is going to be a regular verb, a regular Spanish verb. The Spanish word of the day is insistir, insistir. This is a regular Spanish verb, as I mentioned a second ago. And um, do you know what this means? This means to insist. So, insistir is very similar to insist. Now, let's see a few examples using this verb. Miguel insiste en ir al mismo restaurante. Miguel insiste en ir al mismo restaurante. This means Miguel insists on going to the same restaurant. So, someone really likes the restaurant. And we can see that insisted here is conjugated in present tense and it means insists. Now let's see another example. Las personas insistieron en saber la verdad. Las personas insistieron en saber la verdad. This means People insisted on knowing the truth. Insistieron, right here, means insisted. And we can see that insistieron is in period tense or past tense, something that happened, right? And because this is a regular Spanish verb, you know that it's easier to conjugate uh, as opposed to irregular Spanish verbs. So that's good news. Insistieron, insistieron, insisted. Las personas insistieron en saber la verdad. People insisted on knowing the truth. Okay, now let's see one more example. Ya no insistas. Ya no insistas. This means enough. Don't insist. Insistas means insist. Oops. Insist. This phrase is very common in Spanish. Ya no insistas. When someone is telling you one thing over and over again, you can use this phrase, ya no insistas. Especially if the person wants you to do something that you don't want to do. Ya, yeah, no insistas. Ya yeah is an important Spanish word to learn because it means a bunch of things. But in this situation, it means enough. Enough. Ya, yeah, enough. No insistas. Don't insist. So that's quite interesting. Okay, now let's read some of your comments. Okay, so today we're reading three amazing comments and they're all from the video Learn Spanish Golpe Phrases Spanish Lessons. So that video is all about phrases that use the word golpe. That's a quite interesting video. If you want to check that out, just click here. John Callery says, Hola, sugar astronaut. En mi opinión, Muhammad Ali fue el mejor, pero no tuvo golpe knockout. Espero que esto sea correcto. Gracias y cuídate. Okay, thank you so much for your comment, John. Uh, I'm not sure because I don't know much about Muhammad Ali. Especially about boxing, I don't know that much about the terms. Um, I've heard of some terms, but 
I, I don't know that much about boxing. So if you would like to tell me more about that, you can leave more comments down below. But I just gotta say that your comment has good grammar. Good job. Okay, now the next comment is from Yvette G. And she says, No gastas tu dinero de golpe o daré un golpe. Qué violento. <laughs> That is a great comment. I just, I will change one thing about this. Instead of saying gastas, I will change that to gastes. Gas. This. No gastes tu dinero de golpe. O, also, I will add here between o and daré, te, te. So, no gastes tu dinero de golpe o te daré un golpe. Qué violento. Okay, we're just missing here. It would look better if you add some exclamation marks here. Qué violento. No gastes tu dinero de golpe o te daré Un golpe. Qué violento. Yeah, so that is very interesting. That's a good way to use de golpe for sure. Perfect. Thank you, Yvette. Okay, now let's read one more comment from Nate. Nate Marks. He's saying, Mi único problema con este video es que no fue 10 minutos más largo. Thank you so much for your comment, Nate. And your Spanish is perfect. Everything looks very, very good. I don't have to correct anything. Very good. Good job. Thank you also for your comment. Okay, well, that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. You can also visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons. And don't forget that you can get some flashcards on smlessons.com as well. I'm leaving a direct link to download these flashcards down below. I'm leaving that link down below and you will be able to download these cute and small flashcards that you can fit in your pocket. And this set is all about the Spanish colors. You're pretty much learning colors in Spanish, which is very good. Remember that by getting one set, you are supporting this channel. Okay, that's it for today. Leave any questions or comments down below about what we learned today. Another way to support this channel is by sharing this video with your friends and by giving the thumbs up. And you can donate to this channel on smlessons.com. I'm leaving a direct link to that in the video description down below. Thank you so much for watching, for all your support, and I'll see you next time. Bye!